Shangri-Las had three top ten hits, enjoyed their success, broke up and went their separate ways. Twenty years later, they're angry. Three other Shangri-Las are on the road singing their songs, hits such as Leader of the Pack. The Shangri-Las are going to court, and Garrett Glazer has today's inside story. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Those were the Shangri-Las in the 1960s. Teenagers singing classic teen hits about bad boys and broken dreams. But they never registered their name, and so now these Shangri-Las are using it. They don't look the same, they don't sound the same, they're not the same. But for now, anyway, they are the Shangri-Las. The girl group that gave us Leader of the Pack in the 60s is now actually leading the pack in the 80s. For the Shangri-Las have taken it upon themselves to fight in court those people who would use their good name to make money. They are suing producer Richard Fox. It's Fox who's selling the services of the new Shangri-Las. I researched the name. Uh, in Washington. Nobody owned that name. I mean, nobody had owned that name. If I don't even know if they really ever even owned the name then, uh, but it hadn't been used for so many years, and I just registered the name. I own the name. Today, the original Shangri-Las say not so, and anyway, that's not the point. Why should you have to when you are who you are? We, we are famous. We were and we still are. Why do you have to go out and trademark who you are? Because if you don't, someone just may borrow your name and all that goes with it. You can see that in this home video of the new Shangri-Las performing at a charity benefit. If you're familiar with our music and our records, they're very dramatic type of song. That says it all right there. Familiar with our music? Our song? Yeah, that's it. Well, we're going to That is great. That, Piracy. That is such a... We worked so hard for what we went on the road for, you know? What we did the one-nighters for and stayed in the lousy hotel rooms. I saw a tape of the Shangri-Las. They were making like they were the original ones. And the audience didn't so buy it. tape? And the audience the didn't buy it. Yeah. And the audience didn't buy it because they were too young. I don't, that, that's specifically why I made them young, so they w people wouldn't think that they were that group. And one of my girls said one of our original hits. This next song was the granddaddy of Ma for us, and it was our first number one record. And it's called Leader of the Pack. Fox says if the originals want to work again, that would be a different story. They want to have nothing to do with this business, nothing to do with the name, nothing to do with anything, but yet they want to sit there and say, you can't use that name. You can't, you can't just do that. Why? Because you don't want me to? You've got to have better reasons than that. But if they decide, they came to me and they said, Dick, we want to come back and we want to do it. You got it. In a minute. The Shangri-Las say they were ripped off then and they're being ripped off now. We're not teenagers anymore and we don't have to take it anymore. And we're not taking it anymore. And what about people like Fran and Joe Canfield of Hackettstown, New Jersey? They contacted the Arnie K. Mars Talent Agency looking for an original oldies group. The big night comes. They show up. What'd you think? Shop. <laughs> Reviving rock and roll from the 50s and 60s is big business today. And some people think the fight over the Shangri-La's name is really a battle for all the people who made the music in the first place. Why should three individuals today live off of the work product and the reputation of people who were really the pioneers of rock and roll who really had the hits 25 years ago. A federal judge in New York has ordered the new Shangri-Las to stop using the name until the fight is settled. Meanwhile, the original Shangri-Las told us today they will make a comeback at a reunion show this summer. Garrett Glazer, Entertainment Tonight. Thanks, Garrett.